Music is full of questions, isn't it? To play or sing a piece of music, you need to know all sorts of things. How does it go? How fast? How slow? What does Allegro mean? And what do all those marks on the page say to us? Why are they there? What did the composer want? And how do we do that? In the history of singing and playing, musicians have learned from other musicians. What we know and what we think has been handed on from one generation to the other. Each one taking on old ideas, playing with them, sometimes rejecting them, and then sometimes bringing in completely new ideas instead. When you look at a page of music and it says 2-4, well, there's a short answer to what that means, but then there is the backstory of how we came to think about music in bars and beats. It turns out that music, like all art, like life, isn't just a series of simple answers. It's much more interesting than that. It's more fun. It's more complicated. It's more full of surprises. Where answers actually lead just to bigger questions. Questions that are still living in music right now. So who better to take you on this adventure through music than a band of expert musicians. Players who are not just masters of the art today but who live and breathe the sounds, struggles and successes of musicians of the past. They can tell you the amazing story of music through time, from the humble quaver to the great symphony. And finally, this series is a conversation. That language that musicians speak has developed in a long, long conversation over many years, and so it will continue. Just post in the comments below. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe.